Hello my dear learners how are you in this video i'm going to share a very interesting power bi type business analytics tools free in our programming language so without further delay let's get started radiant this package call radiant okay radiant okay and then you library radiant so once you install the radiant and then library radiant don't forget to save your project first and then install the package radiant and library radiant only two commands once you have done it then all you need to go do is go to the add-in once it installed go to the add-in okay and then in the add-in search box write your radiant just ready and look at start radiant browser look at it okay very fantastic right click this and it will automatically redirect you in a fresh browser so all you have to do go to the browser just like this and look at the interface of radiant it is just like the power bi or tableau but it's free and very user friendly you can see that data design basics model multivariate analysis and finally you can write your report it's a fantastic tool for a drag and drop purposes without doing any programming languages our programming is a very powerful programming language and this business analytics tools is completely free only for you now my dear learners if you look at the first few things for example here you can see the manage which means you can easily find out the preview str which means your data set overview summary of your data set and then you can always load data type and save your data in this particular package okay and then of course you can view different type of variables in this particular package the diamond or you can say the diamond cards this data set is already available which is already installed in the built-in r programming so this is already sample given to your purpose to practice and you can see there is another data set called titanic and if you click that one it will share here if you want to upload any data set from your computer you can do that as well how can you do that first you select csv file which means in my case it is a csv file and then you go and load it once you load it let's assume that i'm going to load this data set bd data story and then select once you select it this will appear in front of you voila country code country code year economic growth gdp per capita capital investment house consumption inflation cpi there are several variables i have used in my data set so it looks very fantastic right my dear learners and then you can go to the view in this view you can search for filtering your data for example in the tidyverse package we use the filter right in this case you can always use a filter for instance filter meaning that you are asking to sort of data row data i mean row row you know the column and the row so we are asking few rows to appear in our window so if you'd like to see let's assume that we would like to see this column economic growth okay is greater than 5.29 let's assume this variable okay so if you write eco okay i'm just writing it eco growth okay g r o w t h growth okay eco growth is greater than 5.29 and let's assume what happened you see all the economic growth which is 5.29 the rows are given here 6.454 6.67 7.06 6.01 5.57 so everything above 5.29 are now appear in your display so how wonderful is that right very interesting so you can use all the tidyverse package 
filtering data, arranging, selecting your columns, everything in this particular case. Okay. Then another, another thing is called the visualization. If you would like to visualize, which means your data set to be visualized, you can always go and select anything. Like for example, plot distribution. If you would like to see economic growth, your plot distribution, create the plot. Once it plots, it looks like this. You can always create several type of plots. For example, density, scatter plot, surface, line diagram, bar diagram, box plot. All you have to do, just select one and then you select drop down menu, your Y variable and the X variable. And then you can have your nice little visualization tool. And then once it done, you can go and download this and you can save in one of your computer folder okay then you have pivot pivot longer pivot wider this is also a diverse package you can select or you can drag down your data set or shape the data set using this pivot table or pivot wide information you can also explore your data set okay exploring means mean median maximum standard deviation all this information you can get for example if you'd like to see capital investment okay and then i would like to create a table based on the capital inv investment in variable in mean mean median maximum standard deviation you can see the capital investment information are given very easily and very nicely in order to download this table, you just have to click this download and it will automatically download to your computer. Then you have transform, right? You can transform your data from one variable to another. For example, if you'd like to take any log, logarithmic change, you can go and see here, bean, change type, normalize, record, rename, transform. There are a lot of information given here, removing, missing values, okay? table to data training variable okay there are a lot of information you can transform your original variable into a new transformed new variable likewise all the example the, the, the one that i'm giving you these are all the tidyverse package but here in radian you can drag and drop okay then the basic is already done you can always calculate probability calculator single mean distribution goodness of fit of your model okay then you can always go and see the models are already there linear regression logistic regression naive bias neural network all the machine learning and conventional econometric models are all given in this particular package let's assume that we would like to run a linear regression okay all you have to do select a response variable in this case i would like to select economic growth as my response variable an explanatory variable in this case i would like to select gdp per capita capital investment and household consumption okay three these are my three uh, independent variable okay and then i would like to see the vif test as well i would like to see confidence interval and there are a lot of other informations you can choose from drop drag and drop according to your need and then you click estimate your model voila you can see all the regression analysis like coefficient standard error t and p values are given here with also the vif r squared and all other information that is required for you to decide whether the assumptions are correct or not about the linear regression model so the linear regression the ols is very interestingly coming up with a single click you can also use the predict option using some variables from the drag and drop option for example here data command data command you can always plot your data set from this drag and drop for example distribution if you click the distribution it will show you the economic growth gdp per capita all these variables and its and their distribution so you just have to go and click what you need and it will come accordingly like for example residuals and explanatory variable you see all this information which you can always go to ggplot and code something but here you do not have to do that just drag and drop okay fantastic right right my dear learners and then you have multivariate analysis like factor analysis k clustering analysis and then finally once you've done everything you can go and use your report there is a rmd which means your markdown page this is the markdown file all this information that i have done so far and then you go and read your files or you can always go and uh, use your 
save button to save all this information okay or you can go to the re uh, report or you can save this report by clicking this one and this will automatically generate you can always knit your report and knitting all these sample report are given here in the right hand side and this will given you a complete report like a R markdown page and save your report and you are good to go with your final outcome of the analysis so with that note my dear learners i think radiant package is the perfect and the best business analytics tools nowadays you can use for free without going to power bi and tabulo so with that note and until next time thank you my dear learners i'll see you very soon bye bye